Hey guys, so this is part two of the SR20 debt build. Um, <clears throat> I've stripped this all down now. Oh, I've stripped the top end down anyway, taking that off. Um, because I'm getting the head machined. Uh, everything else I'm going to leave on for now until I get the head back. Um, simply because if I take everything off, I might not remember where everything goes. So. <laughs> Um, I'm going to put the head back on on the new engine and then transfer everything over bit by bit because there's so many things on here and chances are I'm probably going to forget which hose goes where so I'll leave everything on there for now I can transfer little stuff like um, engine mounts and everything but all this sort of stuff here um, I don't want it to get in the way all this stuff so I'll do that later plus I'm going to replace all these hoses well, all the straight hoses I will. Everything that's sort of like um, prefabricated, I guess. Like meant to have bends in it. If I can't get them locally, um, I might just not get them. Because Nissan will probably charge me a bloody fortune for them. But most of the hoses I should just be able to um, get locally, which would be quite easy. So, yeah. Um, what have I done? Oh, yeah. Um... The condition of the bore on this is actually really, really good, so I'm guessing the, uh, I'm still guessing the ring lands are cracked, but as you can see, it's still got uh, the cross hatching in there. So, yeah, these bores are, are quite good. So, um, yeah, obviously, if it is a ring land, it's, it's only a very hairline crack, it hasn't actually separated yet, and I was expecting some scoring. Especially on number four, because that's what I suspect the ring land is cracked on. Um, but yeah, nothing so far, so <laughs> I don't really know what it is. But yeah, um, I'll pull the pistons out later on. But it doesn't really matter anyway, because, you know, fresh built motor. What's bad about that? So yeah, here's the new one. Um, I checked the, the block with a straight edge, and it's all sweet. Um, so... Yeah, that's all ready to go. Um, judging by the condition of the block on the other one, this head really shouldn't need a lot of machining done. Um, it's it's not it hasn't blown a head gasket or anything, so it's not going to be warped. Um, it might be slightly slightly warped, but I don't. It's not going to be crazily um, warped because usually when people um, get their head machined, they've blown a head gasket, so then they have to take a lot of material off. But considering I'm just rebuilding. Um, it shouldn't, only a fraction should be taken off really. Uh, the condition of the head is really good as well. Um, there's no, you know, um, damaged valves, they all look really awesome. Um, doesn't look like there's been much damage done. Um, all the intake looks pretty clean. So, yeah. But I'm just going to get all this rebuilt. Um, all the lifters cleaned and then um, rebleated, put back in. Uh, new stem seals. Um, heavier valve springs and titanium retainers and yeah I've just basically laid everything out um, how they came out it probably doesn't really matter so much with um, with these if they go back in the exact same but you know you don't want them to be a fraction out so I've laid everything out how it came out so those two came out of the front ones obviously and uh, yeah put it back together the exact same way it came out and then you're not going to have any problems um, as far as stripping down goes I'm not going to do any more now like I said I'm going to wait until I get the um, the head back and then I'll, I'll do more stuff and uh, yeah the condition of the block in, of this is actually really good it's just it's been sitting for a fair while so I need to clean these bores out with some uh, brake cleaner or or thinners or something like that, just to clean them up before I reassemble it, and then uh, coat it with some fresh oil. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I got a Cometic head gasket, 1.1mm uh, head gasket, metal head gasket with ARP head studs. Uh, I got ARP flywheel bolts. I'm going to get a new clutch. Not sure what I'm going to get yet. Um, I got the extended sump. Uh, what else do I have? got a new water pump, a... Uh, Nismo low temperature thermostat opens at 62 degrees, uh, whereas the stock one I think opens at about 70, 72 maybe, 78, I don't know, it opens quite late, 
Um, so that will just drop the temperatures down when I'm drifting. And yeah, it's got a new timing chain. Um, I'm running pond cams. And uh, yeah, I can't really remember what else to tell you guys. That's about it. Um, this engine has only been in the car for about six months, so everything's still relatively new. I've uh, got Nismo engine mounts and yeah, all new belts and everything, so I don't really need to change all that sort of stuff. I'm going to change the uh, seal on my gearbox, where the gearbox goes onto the drive shaft. So I noticed that it was um, a little bit chewed up, so I'll replace that. Might do a video on that sort of stuff. Uh, paint the rock cover, and yeah, that's basically it. So here's, um, here's the cams. So these are Tom Airpon cams, and I've laid everything out that's to do with the head on here. There's not really much to it, there's just the head bolts. I'm just going to uh, keep them for now, probably chuck them out soonish. And uh, these are all your rock cover mounting bolts, and then there's two bolts that mount the head on the front, and then there's two little ones in the back, one long one and one short one. Uh, they're just sort of retaining the head down, not much really, they don't really do a lot to be honest. And um, the chain tensioner I'm just going to keep, that still works fine. Basically what you do is you um, clamp this in a vise and then you can see it's got this hook here and it's got a pin there. You clamp this in the vise and a little bit of oil will splurt out and then you hook this around and that's when you that's when you put it back in that's how you get it back in because you won't be able to get it back in just like that. Um, you'll have to compress it and then the chain tension will be off. And yeah. So basically what you do is you just hook it and then um, turn the engine over just by hand and it'll you hit click and it'll, yeah, it'll click out. So that's how you do that. I've labelled all these um, cam caps, uh, numbered them, um, just so they go back in the exact same spot because they'll wear differently. So make sure you label all those, and I've put them back in order how they came out anyway, just so I don't forget. And everything's laying on rags. And when I was disassembling the engine, I had some uh, some or matting they call it. I got it from work. Just lay under it so you don't get too much oil spills. I think I was there before, but um, a fair bit comes out like coolant when you take off turbo lines and a little bit of oil, so you're never going to get everything out. Anyway, guys, enough rambling on. And yeah, that's about it. That's where your thermostat goes, by the way. I'm pretty sure, anyway. I could be wrong, but then again, I could be right. But I'm pretty certain I'm correct. Yeah, that's where your thermostat goes. So I'll put that in, I'll do a video of that. The water pump on this one's actually new when I had the engine, uh, but I basically just can't be bothered taking it off, so <laughs> I got a new one. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm freaking freezing, it's about two degrees. So I'm gonna go guys, hope you enjoyed the video, got any questions or tips or anything like that, just uh, throw us a comment or PM, and uh, yeah, have fun, catch up.